What's going on guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Today's video, I just wanted to kind of cruise through the shared library tab and just kind of touch base on, on what exactly it is and all the things available you can use it for, okay? So a lot of people don't really even know what the shared library tab is. So if we come into our AdWords account, with our demo account today, we're gonna you're gonna have your camp your uh, account statistics over here. We're just you can see your campaigns right here. You're gonna come in. You're gonna go up to tools. We're gonna go through shared library one at a time. So the first tab is audience manager, and this is where you'll have a list of all of your remarketing lists and <clears throat> all that kind of stuff. Custom audiences. So if you wanted to create a remarketing list, you would hit this plus sign. Choose what kind of list you want to make. If you want to do website visitors, you'd name your list. You can set up your rules, list size, all that, and just create an audience. Really simple. You can have custom audiences over here. It's the same thing. Custom affinity or intent. Intent is people in market looking for exactly what you're you're advertising, pretty much. And you can do that by in market keywords. You can do like say someone's looking for a family law lawyer. And it's going to give you all the statistics on that keyword, demographic, stuff like that. And you could build out lists of in-market keywords and run that audience. Pretty cool. Come down here over in the left, audience insights. You can see I don't have any because we don't have any audiences set up in this account. But this is where all your statistics would be. Audience sources, just more about your tag and all that stuff. And you'd see some data under here about your audiences. You can always click details if you want to see more stuff like that. So that is audience manager. Next, we'll go to portfolio bid strategies. And all this is, is you can create a bidding strategy and then run it across multiple campaigns all at once. Okay. So you could set up a bid strategy, name it, target spend per day, and select campaigns and start dropping it to use on all the campaigns at once or whatever campaigns you want to use. That's really it. Pretty simple, straightforward. Next up, we have negative keyword list. This is pretty cool. So if you want to create a master list of negative keywords, you could drop it right in here. It can say like master list and it has all the basic stuff like uh, job, jobs, you know what I mean? College, career, billing. So stuff like that. I mean all the all the basic negative keywords that you pretty much have to use for every no matter what campaign you're doing. Well, I shouldn't say that, but majority of the campaigns you're building, you you're gonna negative this kind of stuff out. So if you create a master list of that, you can just save that and you can attach it. Apply to campaigns. You so you could attach it to whatever campaigns you want. Oh, right off the bat, which is pretty cool. So I, I highly recommend that anyone watching this video sets up a master list. And if you don't know how to find negative keywords, go to my negative keyword. I believe we have a playlist for negative keywords and watch the video on how to find negative keywords. Re really important stuff. And then build out a nice master list that you can just use across all of your different campaigns. So come back to tools, shared budgets. This is pretty cool. So you can create one budget and share it across multiple accounts. So let's say, let's say well, since our example in this account is always roofers, just say roofers. What we want to spend each day is 50 bucks or something like that. Add to campaigns and we would just choose the campaigns that we wanted to use. We would hit standard save all right so now we're using that $50 budget across two campaigns or three campaigns or whatever you want to do it doesn't really matter and Google's job is going to be to automatically split that budget up and just direct it on for both campaigns all right I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't want it but you get the idea so if you have multiple campaigns in one budget this might be a good option for you to uh, set up Next up, we're going to come here to placement exclusion lists. Now, this is pretty cool. You're basically going to create lists <clears throat> of places you don't want your ads and 
stuff like that to see. So let's say um, let's say you didn't want your your ads to be placed on. This is more for search partners and display network, but you can you can put it by keywords, by URL, video ID, stuff like that. So let's say we didn't want our ads to show on like uh, I'm trying to think of a website. Just trying to see what these websites there are. Website 74. All right, so you can just go through, and if you didn't want it to show on any of these, you would just add this to the list, and your ads will never show on these lists. And then you would hit save after you name your list. Save, and then you have your list. Pretty cool. And that's really it. I mean, there's not that much mystery shrouded in shared library. I know it sounds scary, and most people don't know what it is, but if you just take it one by one, it's pretty simple stuff. I think the most common thing you guys will use this for is, is probably shared budgets and negative keyword lists. That's what most people use it for. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description below this video. Put some cool stuff in there for you. And if you have any questions, anything like that, just drop them in the comments below.